Hi, this is Dan. I'm going to talk through what I went through on my uh, computer to set up my sound card. I normally use a audio interface that I plug in through my USB port to use my to get my sound, but I've got everything converted over to my sound card that I have integrated in my motherboard on my computer so that I can make sure that I'm telling you the right information, but I'm going to just step through this with you. Um, I know it's frustrating, especially when you've not ever made settings in this program. It can be frustrating, but this should fix your problem. So what we need to do, I'm going to switch over to the desktop here, if I can find it. Uh, think that's what it, yeah I've got you know so this is cakewalk I put a an audio sa sample in here just to have it here now before I even do anything in cakewalk I want to minimize well I don't have to minimize it I'll stay here down here you want to go down to your speaker icon down here and right click on it and go to your sound settings if you don't have this window you can go over here to the to the uh, little magnifying glass and click on there and type in uh, control panel and then from there you look for sound hardware and sound and that'll take you to the same window but this is the the window that you want to go to now I'm clicked on sound right here my sound card is set for the headphone setting instead of the speaker setting mainly because I don't have speakers hooked up to my that output on my sound card so I just went through the headphone to plug my headphones in the front so however you do if you can hear music outside of cakewalk however you're doing that look to see what this setting is on if it's probably going to be set on your speakers because it looked like on the info you sent me that it's got a jack sensing capability which lets the computer know that if you plug in your headsets it'll automatically adjust it to the headphone setting but usually the default will be the speakers so you want to make sure you're on the right channel here so probably if you can hear it in your computer speakers here uh, with audio outside of cakewalk then you're fine there just make sure you recognize this name here this is HD audio speakers is on mine so once I have that set all I have to do is go into cakewalk and I'm going to hit edit up here and go to preferences or I can just press P on the keyboard and it'll bring it up so up here under audio there is devices um, this is just other stuff I have on my system from my webcam and stuff like that just ignore whatever you're going to have whatever you have plugged in on yours but where I want to go is the driver settings and up here in the playback timing master you should be able to see that same name that you saw in the sound card settings um, right here if you don't click here and you should be able to see it somewhere in there click and make sure that that's on the same one there uh, as far as your record master depends on your sound card I don't know what you have I don't have a recording uh, side on my sound card. It's one of the main reasons I don't use it because I can't record without a, a USB audio interface. So you may have one that you can set up. Again, this is my webcam. I could record from that if I do, just like I'm recording on this video. But I'm not going to use that for Cakewalk. You can mess with that, but that's where you do that is set up your mic settings. <clears throat> for sound card they usually just keep the bit depth at 16 don't go to 24 make sure it's set at 44 1 usually sound cards don't do well in 40 48 make sure your bus size is balanced uh, if you have it set fast you'll probably get a lot of uh, sound uh, what do they call it uh, the sound goes out it'll give you a big old notice down here at the bottom right but once you have the, it set, just click this wave profile. It may do it automatically for you. What it's going to do is going to check your system. Just click yes. And it's going to go through and 
analyze everything that's on your computer. I'm just going to find out what's available to, to, to play back on. Once it analyzes it, then you can just hit close. So I'm just going to hit close. It's been analyzed. So the next thing is go down to this playback and recording. And most of the time with sound cards, again, it just depends on your sound card. Uh, there's WDM. Sometimes that works. I usually use MME for sound cards. It just works smoother. ASIO is really just for audio interfaces, so you won't be able to use this. I've never had luck with these with these two if you have them on your system they don't work for me. MME I've had the best luck with so try that first make sure that's set up here. It may be 64-bit for yours that's fine just leave it at that. Okay that should be all you have to set in that and then it should be good to go on that. If you have a keyboard you might want to go here down to MIDI plug whatever it is. Um, I use the Impact LX49 that's my main controller to access my piano controller so anyway that should be all you need to do then all you have to do is go in set up a, a an opening uh, open file it usually will have a default setting of a keyboard uh, true pianos that's cakewalks native uh, piano synth uh, that'll usually be on the default opening file and then one audio track and I just drug a, a, a audio track in to test the sound on the audio side of it so I just play that to make sure it's working <laughs> I don't have sound now why don't I have sound huh it was working I tried it a little bit ago what did I forget hmm I did something what did I do here might have. Huh. You know what? Since I did that, usually when you do, when your computer analyze, when Cakewalk analyzes your sound card, if you don't have sound after you've done it, but you see this, usually what that means is the settings will not set for the Cakewalk until you reset it. So you kind of have to turn this off and then turn it back on. Just, just close it out. I just said no because I didn't really have anything. And then once it resets, just click it again and open it up again. That'll reset everything again. And usually you'll have sound back by then. Let's check it. I'm kind of glad that happened because maybe this will prove, show you what I mean. So do all the scanning, make sure it checks everything out. Okay, I just close this out and let it automatically bring this in. So I'm going to bring that. Uh, what did I have here? I forgot. <laughs> Don't remember what I had. Here it is. I'm going to drag this audio in since it's working. Usually, if it's set up, all I have to do is click on my piano. Okay, my. Ah, no sound. Ah, it was working. What happened? What did I do? In the sound setting to see what I did here. That's right. Oh, it's on speakers. I need it on headsets because I don't have speakers. I have it on the wrong thing. Okay, so this is headphones. Dang it. So that's this is good though. It'll help you see what I'm doing to fix it. Because it, it looks like it's probably the exact same problems you're having. So, so I'm going to go into the profile and set this. I set it to the speakers, but it automatically set it to headphones. So that's good. I'm going to make this a set right. MME. That should be good. I should have sound now. Yeah. I love it when it works when I tell it to. Okay, so. So we got sound on the keyboard. And if that works, this would probably work too. Yeah. So there you go. You have the sound set up and now you're good to go. Just keep in mind when you use sound cards, you're usually going to have a lot of latency issues with MIDI. Um, uh, you're also going to have the uh, audio uh, 
break down you'll get a notice here and it'll just stop audio um, that's usually due to settings in the in your cache here you can go up here to your settings up here and adjust this right here your buffer size um, usually right down the middle is your best settings uh, if the faster you go the less latency you're gonna have on your MIDI sounds the safer so it doesn't crash all the time you know but you're gonna have more latency if you do that so usually right down the middle is your best place if you find you're having your keyboard is too too much latency try putting it as fast as possible just when you're recording but then when you're mixing just audio you can bring it back over here and it, it'll keep it from crashing that's kinda of what I do when I'm using sound cards but again the audio interface is so much smoother it's uh, you don't have to go through all this but but when you have to I understand sometimes you have to but I'm gonna put that back so anyway that's that should that should get you going if not just write me back hope this helps Bye.